This is your July real estate market update. Hey everybody, I'm Stephen Ho with the Mr. Saga real estate team at Better Homes and Gardens. And today we're going to talk about how the market is doing for the month of July. Now we're in the middle of summer and everybody's finally allowed to go outside their home and enjoy the weather. So how is that affecting the GTA real estate market? Sales are down almost 15% from the same time last year. Price is up over 12% from the same time last year and days on market is around 20 days, which is about 20% less than last year. Homes are selling a little bit faster. But what does this really mean of how the market is consuming listings? Where is the demand and the supply in all of this? New listings are down over 30%. Active listings are down over 35%. And months of inventory is just over one at 1.03. So the last three months, June had 1.01 months of inventory. In May, it was 1.02. And in April, was around 1.5. As people are enjoying the nice weather that we're having, the market is still moving. There's not as many buyers and not as many sellers, but the ones that are in there are quite serious. So the months of inventory really tells us the consumption rate of how the market is reacting to listings. The demand is still there. But let's break it down in Mississauga. Mississauga's months of inventory is under one as 0.95 months of inventory. So breaking it down to the different segments, here is where we can see some of the opportunities and how the market is really moving in the different segments. So in the detached segment, we're at 1.04 months of inventory. That's 31 days of inventory. So if all the detached homes that come out, they are selling all of them by the end of the month. Average price is out. 1.55 million dollars for an average detached home. So here's something interesting. Townhomes in Mississauga is at 1.09 months of inventory. That's 33 days of inventory. Average price for a townhome in Mississauga is almost $995,000. Semis on the other hand is at 0.36 months of inventory. That is 11 days of inventory. 11. All semis that come out are sold out within 11 days. Average price though is below townhomes at 965,000. Condos in Mississauga is the slowest segment at 1.3 months of inventory. That's over 40 days of inventory. Average price is around 578,000. So this is maybe where you can find some opportunities in the market. So condos are not going as crazy as semis or townhomes or detached homes. But I really believe that the condo market will return as the border starts opening up, as people are going back to school, going back to work, they're going to need places to rent. And the rental market for condos specifically is going to really rebound and lift the resale value of condominiums. So if you were to get in, you should probably get into it now before that rebound is fully complete. What I think is gonna happen for the second half of 2021 is that the freehold market's going to pretty much stay status quo, but the condo market is probably going to rebound as the borders open up, as I mentioned all those reasons, the condo market is going to come back. As the gap between freehold and condominium grows this year, there's going to be some buyers that are gonna come buy into the condominium market because there's value there. And that's going to really bring that gap smaller as we get into the second half of 2021 and into 2022. So if you have any questions, we're here to help. I'd love to talk real estate. And until then, follow for more real estate tips and market stats and insight.